In this quick video, I'm going to show you step by step how you can buy a domain on GoDaddy. This will be an updated video for 2024, so let's jump into it. So first, what you want to do is head over to GoDaddy.com. The best way to get here really is just go to Google, just search for GoDaddy, and it will then be the first one. Go ahead and click on it, and it will take you straight to GoDaddy. Now here, what you can do is you can go ahead and type in any domain, then click search domains. So we're going to try and find a domain together. So what I would recommend you do is have a domain name in mind, and then try and buy the .com domain name, because the .com domain name is going to be favorable for Google. They're going to rank it high and just generally as the whole world they prefer .com domain names so go ahead and type in your domain name here so I'm just going to try and type in here search media and see if we can register that domain name so you can type it with no extension then click search domains and it's going to give you all of the extensions which are available so you can see we've got searchmedia.co.uk which is available and um, but we need to make an offer on that because someone already owns it alternatively you can scroll down and you can select any of these here now again I wouldn't recommend anything like dot agency dot productions dot shop unless you have a specific use for it i would just try and have the dot com domain so search for your domain and try and get the dot com domain now obviously this is ridiculous so if i had a website idea and a business idea i obviously might want to rethink the name because having a dot com domain is very very important i've just made a small change to my domain so instead of searchmedia.com i've got here searchablemedia.com and we'll see if that's available Available. So we'll search for that and this is not available either. So after about four different tries with four different domain names, I finally found a domain name which is available for .com. So I've gone with searchablehowto.com because my channel is a how-to channel and I want to create a business about how-to tutorials. I've gone with searchablehowto.com. So you are going to have to make some sacrifices and try and think of a brandable unique name which hasn't been taken. You can see here if we scroll down, we can get that exact match domain and it's going to be 0 0.01 pence for the first year. So we can go ahead and then click make it yours so they're going to give you a really enticing offer which you can go ahead and choose if you want but this offer is going to be for a free year registration now if you don't want to pay for the full three years up front you can just go ahead and do a yearly like subscription to that domain which you can cancel at any time but what i would do is lock it in for a year and for a year it's going to be nine pounds in my case and then if i didn't want to renew it i can just cancel it now they're going to try and also sell you here full domain protection which in my opinion you don't actually need they say it's going to protect you from hacking but I've never had any issues and I've never bought this so I'm not going to choose this but you can choose it if you want to it's going to add an extra eight pounds per year I'm just going to go ahead and continue to the car so then you're going to need to either create an account or you can log in if you've already got an existing account I'm going to click sign in and I'm going to sign in with my existing GoDaddy account if you didn't have one though you could just simply sign up very easily with Google so now I've signed in again they're going to try and upsell me the full domain protection now one thing that's important to note when you buy a domain name with GoDaddy, they include free privacy protection. So you may have heard of this already, but basically privacy protection is essentially if someone tries to do a domain lookup, your name, your address, and all of your personal details will be hidden because GoDaddy include a free privacy protection. So don't worry about that. This is just going to be extra protection, which again, I'm just going to choose to not continue with. Scrolling down here, we can also choose to use GoDaddy's website builder. I don't want this, so I'm going to uncheck this. And then also we're going to go with no professional email. Maybe you want this and again it's going to just be an additional add-on but for me I just want the domain and I can go ahead and connect it to WordPress or build a website with it at a later date. You can then continue to cart and buy and this is very simple. So here we're going to have a overview of our website. Go ahead and make sure that everything is correct here because once you buy it you won't be able to change it. So we're going with searchablehowto.com. We're going to be registering it for one year here. And you can see it's going to renew next year, but it's actually going to renew next year for £19. Now, if we didn't want to renew this, we can just go ahead and cancel it at any time before this date. I would just go ahead and do it on a yearly subscription because you just don't know if you're going to have this domain in a year or not. I would just go ahead and keep it on a year subscription. You can do it for 10 years, but you're going to have to pay more up front. Then again, check whatever you need here. Again, it's going to try and upsell you once more. Then go ahead and check out through PayPal or click I'm ready to pay. So I'm going to go ahead and click here. I'm ready to pay and it will take me to this window where you should see your address and obviously your payment 
payment method, which I have added my PayPal account. For you, you can pay with PayPal, you can pay with credit card. It's going to prompt you to add your payment method, whatever that is. Then go ahead and click here on complete purchase. You're going to have the subtotal, the VAT and fees, and then obviously the total here, which is £10 in my case. We can then complete that purchase. And there you go. That purchase has gone through. We've now got searchablehowto.com owned to my account and it is now registered. Now we can go ahead and click on continue. And from here, it's going to ask you, would you like to start the coming soon page? I just skip it for now. It doesn't really matter because we're not going to use GoDaddy to create a website anyway. So click skip for now. Then click I'll do this later. And then GoDaddy are going to try and get you to use their website builder, which I would not recommend at all. So whatever it takes you to here, you just want to head over to your GoDaddy dashboard and you can see it's already taken me here anyway. So now here's how you can find your domain once you've bought it. So if you're on Google, just do a search here for GoDaddy and obviously head over to their website. And once you're on their website and you're logged in, go to your profile icon, go to my products, and then you should see your domain. From here, if you then scroll down, you'll see all your products and services. You can see we've got searchablehowto.com, which we can go ahead and set up the DNS servers, set it up, or obviously manage it. So that's how you can buy a domain name on GoDaddy, updated for 2024.